Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today let's make a sunflower shirt, but let's put it on the side of the shirt. As usual, the shirt was washed and dried, then soaked in a soda ash solution for 20 to 30 minutes. I wrung it out of my panda spin dryer so it's just barely damp. The shirt's also turned inside out. Since we're going to put the sunflower on the side of the shirt, I'm going to fold the hem of the shirt up to the armpit. Then I'm going to grab the corner of the hem and fold it back. Then I'm going to fold the other side of the shirt back too. So I'm going to grab the seam, lift the shirt up off of the table, and when I do that, that will fold the other portion of the shirt back. So this fold is kind of like folding a paper airplane. Now I'm going to fold each side back one more time. Using a washable marker, I'm going to mark where the armpit of the shirt is just so that I make sure I don't extend the sunflower beyond that area. I'm also going to mark where I'd like the center of the sunflower to be. Then I'm going to use sinew to tie around the line that I've just drawn for the center of the sunflower. I'm going to wrap it a couple of times and pull it really tight. Then I'm going to begin wrapping diagonal lines down toward the center or the end of the sunflower. I think adding the diagonal lines in the center of the sunflower gives the sunflower dimension and makes it look a little bit more interesting. When I get down to the very end, I'm going to wrap it a couple of times and then start wrapping diagonally back the other direction toward my original line.
To form the petals of the sunflower, I'm going to use some hemostats. These are locking hemostats, and I've taken and used some heat shrink tubing over the teeth of the hemostats. This will help them get a better grip on the shirt without damaging or making a hole in the shirt. I've purchased my hemostats from several different places. I've purchased some of them from eBay, Amazon. You can get them a variety of places. I have a link down below in the description for this video for where you can purchase some hemostats from Amazon. I also have links for various other items that I use when I tie dye. I'm going to use two hemostats for each row of sunflower petals. These are curved hemostats and I'm pointing the curve down toward the center of the sunflower. I'm trying to make the hemostat ends touch in the middle and I'm going to lock them down as tightly as I can onto the shirt. I'm going to scrunch the rest of the shirt, so I'm going to unfold it a little bit and then scrunch it with my hands and hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. Then I'm going to set the shirt aside and allow it to dry out completely. Because the inside of the sunflower fold is really thick, I'll get better color saturation if I go ahead and let it completely dry out. Otherwise, I could end up with white streaks in the middle of the center of my sunflower or even possibly in some of the petals. If you have difficulty with your shirt not receiving or accepting the dye when it's dry, you can take a little bit of your soda ash solution, put it into a spray bottle, and gently mist the top of the shirt. That will usually allow the dye to soak in and saturate the shirt better. I've placed the shirt on a rack, and I'm beginning at the very end or the center of the sunflower with Dutch chocolate from Dharma Trading Company. I've placed the dye in a needle tip bottle so that I have a little bit better control over it. There's links down below for where I purchased those as well. Because I have so many sinew lines in this area, I want to go slow and make sure I get all of the dye down into the center of the sunflower. For the petals of the sunflower, I'm using golden yellow from Dharma. Because the shirt is dry, when I start applying the dye, it readily soaks up this dye and is pulling it down into the middle of the petal area. Right up next to the very first line of hemostats, I'm going to add a very thin line of the Dutch chocolate. That will give just a little bit of additional dimension to the petals of the sunflower. Then to make sure that line isn't too harsh, I'm going to go over the top of it with a little bit more golden yellow. For the body of the shirt, I'm going to use Brilliant Blue from Custom Colors. This is a size extra large shirt and I'm going to use the entire 8 ounces of dye. I personally like to use blue on the outside of a sunflower. I think where the blue and the yellow mix, it makes green and it almost looks like the leaves on the outside of the sunflower.
I'm going to gently turn the shirt over and continue applying dye to the back side. As you can see, the gold and yellow came through really well, and so did the Dutch chocolate on the center of the sunflower. Because the shirt is dry, the shirt just wicked that dye right down through it to the back side. I'm going to go ahead though and add some additional dye to both of these areas just to make sure it's saturated really well. And I want to add the definition line just outside the first row of hemostats. I'm going to continue with the brilliant blue on the back of the shirt. I've used all eight ounces of the Brilliant Blue, and I'm gonna continue on by adding a little bit of Sky Blue from Dharma, just to make sure I've got color pretty much in most of this area of the shirt. In the body part of the shirt, I don't mind if there's a little bit of white left, but I don't want large chunks of white left in this area. Adding an additional blue will also add some dimension to this part of the shirt. Now I'm going to set the shirt aside and allow it to process for at least 24 hours. After 24 hours, I took the shirt to my utility sink and I began rinsing it in cold water. I rinse in cold water to get out any of the soda ash that's left in the shirt. After I untied the shirt, I warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the dye that didn't react with the shirt. After rinsing for a while, I just decided to go ahead and soak the shirt. So I added the shirt to my utility sink along with a little bit of Blue Dawn dish detergent and hot water. When the water cooled off, I changed it out and continued the soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I washed the shirt in the washing machine along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent and hot water. And after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. So what do you think? I like the sunflower on the side of the shirt. I think it's interesting. I think it's kind of a little unexpected and it's a cool design on the shirt, but it's not an overwhelming design right on the very front of the shirt. Do you see what I mean about adding the sinew lines into the center of the sunflower, how it adds dimension to the center? I personally like that effect to the center of the sunflower. You can also tell where I added the Dutch chocolate just on the outside of the first row of petals. That gives a little bit of dimension or shadow to the first row of petals. Kind of makes them stand out a little bit, which I think looks cool too. Then, as I mentioned earlier, right where that second row of petals meets with the blue, there's usually a little bit of green that forms right there. And I think that kind of gives the illusion of the leaves or the greenery of the sunflower. Then using the two colors of blue on the body of the shirt did add quite a bit of dimension to it. I like that better than just adding a solid color where it looks just a little bit flat. I like the color variations and other things from the two different colors. So what do you guys think about the shirt? Do you like the sunflower on the side or do you prefer the sunflower in the middle of the shirt? I like it in both places, but I think it's cool sometimes to put it someplace a little bit different or unexpected. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.